Hey y'all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me today to view some Ipsy plus spoilers for January 2021. Isn't that crazy to say? Like I was just talking about this in my other spoiler video but like it really is crazy to say 2021. Like it really is. I, I don't know. 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 Anyways. I'm really excited to get into today's spoilers because they're pretty good. They're pretty good. So, if you guys are into these types of videos from me, then please give this video a big thumbs up because I am your friendly neighborhood spoiler un unboxing gal. Then, um, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, it would mean so much, especially because I've noticed in my analytics that over half of my viewers are not even subscribed. So if you're already a viewer, if you would, do me the honor and hit the subscribe button. It would melt my heart. And let's go ahead and get into the video. So, spoiler number one is from Farsali. Love that brand. This is the Unicorn Essence. Well, let's tell you a little bit about this product. This innovative oil-free solution acts as a dual-purpose serum, helping to protect your skin from free radical damage while preparing it for layering moisturizer and makeup. I do have to say, I used to use my Fursali liquid glass serum right before my primer and my makeup and it was so beautiful. It's made with antioxidant superfruits, acaya, goji, and blueberry, and packed with vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E to promote your complexion's health and help minimize signs of aging. Love that. Definitely don't need any more aging than what I have going on right now. I'm just saying. Next up, we actually have an item from IGK. Really great hair brand. I use their dry shampoo. I've actually had this product in the past. This came in, I want to say, a Boxy Lux from September of last year because there was another spoiler for the Glam Bag that I got that same product in a Boxy Lux from September of last year. So it's kind of weird how, like, you know, two products. Well, anyways, I mean, it makes sense since Boxy Charm did get bought by Ipsy, but whatever. Anyways, this is the uh, Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. So I've had this before, I never used it. I sold it on my Poshmark. It says leave thirsty hair back in 2020. This leave-in conditioning balm melts into hair to boost hydration and reduce frizz without weighing your hair down, leaving it silky and smooth. Not to mention it gives it a healthy dose of shine with a buildable formula. Honestly, I kind of might need that because my hair's been frizzy lately. So I might actually need that. <laughs> um, next up from Ofer Cosmetics. Now this I like to see. Okay, we have the new Ofer packaging, not the Ofer packaging that's the old packaging, but also the packaging that they use when they give it to Ipsy to use in their boxes. This is like the actual packaging that's like updated. This is the packaging here. Love it. Um, but anyways, so this is the Everglow highlighter. It has three different highlights in it. I don't know which highlights, but it looks to me as if maybe, maybe... The highlight is, what is it called, Star Island maybe, or Glazed Donut. Star Island's so pretty. Um, and then like two other golden ones that I don't have, and a darker one, obviously. So at least there's a color for each skin tone in here, or you can also use it as an eyeshadow, which the formula as their glitch palettes are kind of like a highlighter formula, which is that gold shade I had on my last Ipsy video. So I'm sure this one would probably look the exact same for those who were wondering. But yeah, 3 in 1 highlight. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, is amazing. They have like the best highlighters ever. Anyways, next up from Water Beauty, this is the Lip Ret Retweet Retreat Oil in Oasis. It says, don't forget your lips when it comes to your skincare routine. This luxurious lip treatment offers the hydrating effects of an oil with the shine of a gloss. It's enriched with a nourishing blend of apricot, kernel, and avocado oil to help firm and moisturize for healthier looking lips. Cool. Next up, the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Soleil. 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 I don't know how to say that. Whatever. Um, this weightless cream highlighter has a crease proof, transfer proof formula that delivers luminous color in a single swipe. We love the peachy pink to give our looks just a touch of flush. This looks like it might be too dark for me. Like it would give a dark cast, but I'm sure as a freaking, uh, what is it called? A shadow, liquid shadow. This would be probably really freaking cute. Um, next up, the Florence by Mills, which 
Come on, why are we getting her products in Ipsy? This is the second month, okay. This is the Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. So, um, ready to invest more into your self-care routine? This iridescent purple peel off masks, mask, <laughs> helps us reset our skin after any stressful event. Purifying charcoal draws out dirt, dirt <laughs> and oil while witch hazel keeps skin clear and happy. Lavender oil brings the chill vibes by calming skin. Just wait until you peel it off. It's majorly addictive. So that's, that's interesting. Ooh, this next one. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So good. Pixie by Petra. Um, this is a nuance quartet in sugar blossom <laughs> these subtle yet gorgeous shades can be used on cheeks and eyes for a dreamy glow ceramides give these hues time release and moisture while vitamin e nourishes and protects your skin that i'm excited about next is from high beauty this is the high eye q cannabis eye gel another eye product next we have the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizer, which is a repeat item. It says this nourishing cream is clinically formulated with moisture boosting, redness reducing ingredients known to soothe dry, tight, or chapped skin. Um, lactose from goat's milk helps soothe and moisturize dry skin. Good for your skin and the planet. This pick is packaged in a limited edition jar that's made of 25% ocean waste plastic collected from the Philippine Sea and Indian Ocean. That is so, so freaking great in like a good way. I actually have this. I got it in Ipsy last month. So here it is. It smells really good. At least I think it does if memory serves me correctly. Oh yeah, that's right. It's very liquidy. Oh wait, no, memory doesn't serve me correctly. It doesn't have a scent. So now that I have that all over, we'll just put it on my hands. Okay. Love that. Okay. Anyways, so love that. We've seen it in Boxy Charm. We've seen it in Fat Pit Fun. Ooh, it's very cooling and it feels really, really nice on the hands. Wait a minute. I smell goat tit. Anyways, um, next up we have from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. This is really exciting to see. Honestly, like, I'm excited about it. I hope I get this. Like, I really do. I just, I know I have, like, a million mascaras, but I don't have an ABH mascara, so I want it, right? Um, oh, that's actually all of the spoilers for this month. Hmm, wow. Okay, so I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions. Do you like all of these products? Let me know. I think seeing Farsali in here and IGK and then, you know, Cover FX and, um, you know, the Kate Somerville, which is a repeat item, and, like, the Anastasia. This is giving me, like, really big BoxyCharm vibes. Like, am I right? I don't know if since Ipsy bought BoxyCharm, we're gonna start seeing more BoxyCharm type items in Ipsy, because BoxyCharm has more, you know, notable brands that we know. Like, we know these brands, and then Ipsy has more indie brands. So I'm wondering if they're gonna like start dropping those indie brands and bringing those other brands. I don't know. I wanna know all your thoughts and opinions down below. I keep smelling this. Like I know I don't like smell it, but I keep wanting to smell it. I don't know, it's very weird. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget, I'm doing Vlogmas, so go check it out, the link below. And um, yeah, all your thoughts and opinions I wanna hear down below. Do you like this plus, this plus for January 2021? Let me know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!